All right, something you might not know about this YouTube channel uh, is that uh, I do 3D printing as well, a little bit of design. And this is my latest design. Um, or rather, there's two parts to this design. So you might ask, what is this? Well, you may also be watching this having come from the Thingiverse link. Well, this is a belt buckle designed to take mint tins. Um, and that's not because I'm totally obsessed with mints. Uh, that's because I wanted to fit a survival kit into one of these. So I'll go over a couple of quick features first and then we'll demo it. So hidden down the back in here you can probably see there is a magnet. Um, I've stuck that in with hot glue. Um, I'm pretty sure any size and strength of magnets can work for you depending on how well you want this tin to hold in. But it should stick in like that and stay in quite nicely and then there's a thumb hole for removing it. Um, so this is the belt buckle design. Um, it's pretty simple. We can see the screw here, which I've added in without any threaded inserts. Although, if you wanted something more secure, um, you can use threaded inserts, which I have some I prepared earlier. These are threaded inserts. Uh, these are for 3mm screws. Uh, that hole is uh, 3mm, um, and as printed it's not too bad for cutting thread with just a machine screw. But uh, you could fit a couple of these conceivably as well if you wanted something a little stronger. Um, this is the inline belt version, which I haven't bothered testing yet, or at the time I'm filming this anyway. Um, again, it's designed to fit inline on the belt. Uh, we'll demonstrate that first. Uh, very simply, we slide a belt through both of these loops, and it should sit against your body more or less like that. Um, not much more to it than that. The tricky bit comes with the belt buckle. <clears throat> so, the belt buckle, this is a belt loop. It's designed to work with some of the cast metal belt buckles. This is my very, very first attempt at a belt, belt buckle back in uh, 2012. Um, the way this works is like a lot of the, the Buckles of America style ones. You can put your belt through, clip it on like that, and then the other end of the belt comes around from the other side here and pops over those hot, that screw. So let's uh, get our 3D printed design fitted up. So we'll thread through here, and we'll fold over the top, and push our press studs together. Now we'll bring, after I tangle everything, I'm sorry about the close-up view of the camera here, it's a little challenging where I am. So here's our other belt end here, it's going to go underneath the first one, and we pull that through. And then with the screw here, we push that through one of the holes here. And that forms a clasp and our belt buckle. Now, I'm not sure how comfortable this idea is going to be. It is quite uh, large. So um, I haven't actually worn this yet. I'm just filming this as I'm testing this out. So your mileage may vary. But uh, let's see how this goes. Anyway, that's a quickie little overview of it. It's a pretty simple design. Um, I threw this together in about a half hour. Um, so, it's hardly refined. I've just done chamfers instead of my usual fillets on corners. So, it looks a little chunkier, but hopefully there won't be square angular corners to jab into you. So, um, yeah. And my printing quality, as you can see from here, I suffered a blocked nozzle and uh, my printer in the higher levels gets a little bit wobbly, so I've got some misaligned layers there. But uh, other than that, it works fairly well. Um, in terms of how I printed this, let's angle up a bit here. Um, I printed vertically like this, even with this one, and I had to generate some support structures up under here just to support this uh, strand here. But generally, most of my designs, I try and print them with a nice flat level side so that you can at least line one side on the glass and uh, I minimise the bridging as much as possible. And in this design, I've had it step up along here to try and help put some standoff to help that bridging rather than trying to print out into the middle of nowhere. So yeah, I hope this is an interesting design for you guys. I've started doing videos to answer my questions, um, and you can probably hear my apprentice in the background playing with another one of my designs. So, <laughs> speak of the devil. All right, I hope this is an interesting design. Let me know what you think. Ah, but wait, there's more. I thought I'd just uh, show you part of what I intended for this. Um, 
These Eclipse Mint tins are very numerous. I can find them pretty much everywhere. I've designed this around a uh, a common brand, not like the, the Aldi off-brand with the tins that are just slightly a different size. So I'm hoping most people should be able to get hold of these. Um, this is a little ration kit I've thrown together just as a demo uh, to show you what I plan to do with this. So in this I've got some ra basic rations. I've got a couple of bits of sugar. I have a little uh, birthday candle which is kind of good for starting a fire. And I have six um, stock cubes as we call them in Australia. Uh, also known as bullion cubes. I've got in varying flavours. So we can fit like six of them in here. Which, you know, gets me out of trouble in a really dire emergency. Um, not by any means a long-term kit, but, you know, if I happen to get unexpectedly stuck, it's a little bit of something to get me by, to help me think straight. Um, a little bit of sugar if I happen to be uh, near a diabetic, which one of my friends actually is. Um, or, you know, if I need just a little something to uh, get my brain functioning long enough to, say, signal for help or whatnot. Um, and I can easily interchange these out for, say, I can have another kit here with a pack of peppermints if I happen to want actual peppermints. Um, or I've got numerous versions of these tins. This one's just an empty one. But uh, I could put, like, a mini survival kit. I could put a little compact multimeter in here, some spare batteries, you know, bloody, I don't know, anything you want. Um, bit of spare ammunition, like I'd fit a few 22s in here. Um, really depends. I, I can swap these in and out as uh, purpose designed for whatever I happen to need to do. So if I go, hey, I'm going to go out bush or I'm going to a remote site to say fix a transmitter, I can swap out to an emergency ration kit in case I get snowed in, which has happened before. Um, or if I'm going to a site where I might need a multimeter, I can pick a multimeter kit. You know, or pretty much the, the sky's the limit. It's a little modular system. So my primary idea was to add some emergency rations, um, which, you know, there's been times where that would have been really, really handy. Um, it's not a huge kit, but it's enough to get you out of trouble or to just improve your situation slightly. Um, in many a case, people have been in situations that could have turned out very easily had they had something as simple as a couple of matches or, you know, just a little bit of something to get them through, you know. It's, it's just nice if I can have a simple kit like this that's very cheap, very effective. I don't mind actually opening and using it uh, because one of the other psychological things that happens is people like conserve their rations and never actually use them all. And people have died with ration kits that are half used, you know, like people don't pull them out and use them when they need to. This is cheap enough and easy enough that I can have multiples um, or I can just, ca I, I'm not afraid to use it is basically the case. So that just further clarifies uh, this particular design on Thingiverse. Um, this will end up being a, uh, a public video on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are looking for the actual 3D models for this, you want to print your own, um, there's a link in the description. If you found your way here from the Thingiverse, um, yeah, leave us a, a comment on the Thingiverse listing and see what you like. You know, if there's, if there's room for improvement. I've got so many designs up here, people are always asking me for um, for mods and designs and more information, so I, I don't make money out of this, I don't make money out of the YouTube videos, this is all off my own back, so guys, you know, if there's something I've got to do to feed the family, um, I'm going to put priority on that, so, so please don't be offended by that. Alright, I'm going to leave this here, and um, yeah, I hope you guys get the idea of what this is all about, it's a pretty dead simple idea, so um, alright, I'll catch you all uh, next time.